Your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with thee. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may he forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, grant that with his assistance as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Before God and before Christ Jesus, who is to be judge of the living and the dead, I put this duty to you. In the name of his appearing and of his kingdom, proclaim the message and welcome or unwelcome and insist on it. Refute falsehood, correct error, Call to obedience, but do all with patience and with the intention of teaching. The time is sure to come when far from being content with sound teaching, people will be avid for the latest novelty and collect themselves a whole series of teachers according to their own tastes. And then instead of listening to the truth, they will turn to myths. Be careful always to choose the right course. Be brave under trials. Make the preaching of the good news your life's work in thoroughgoing service. As for me, my life has already been poured away as a libation, and the time has come for me to be gone. I have fought the good fight to the end. I have run the race. I have kept the faith. All there is to come now is the crown of righteousness reserved for me, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day. And not only to me, but to all those who long for his appearing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My lips will tell of your justice, O Lord. My lips will tell of your justice, O Lord. My lips are filled with your praise, with your glory all the day long. Do not reject me now that I am old, when my strength fails, do not forsake me. My lips will tell of your justice, O Lord. But as for me, I will always hope and praise you more and more. My lips will tell of your justice and day by day of your help, though I can never tell it all. My lips will tell of your justice, O Lord. I will declare the Lord's mighty deeds, proclaiming your justice, yours alone. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and I proclaim your wonder still. My lips will tell of your justice, O Lord. So I will give thanks on the lyre to your love, for your faithful love, my God. To you I will sing with the harp, to you the Holy One of Israel. My lips will tell of your justice, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who with a noble and generous heart take the word of God to themselves and yield the harvest through their perseverance. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel.
Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to walk about in long robes to be greeted obsequiously in the market squares, to take the front seats in the synagogues and the places of honour of banquets. These are the men who swallow the property of widows while making a show of lengthy prayers. The more severe will their sentence they receive. He sat down opposite the treasury and watched the people putting money into the treasury, and many of the rich put in a great deal. A poor widow came and put in two small coins, the equivalent of a penny. Then he called his disciples and said to them, I tell you solemnly, this poor widow <coughs> has put in more than all who have contributed through the treasury. For they have all put in money they had over. But she, from the little she had, has put in everything she possessed. All she had to live on. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, we give thanks today for this Mass. I give thanks for the privilege it is to be here. Yesterday I celebrated my fourth anniversary of ordination to the priesthood. Not quite as impressive as 40 years with Father Emerson, but we all start somewhere, right? Um, and so this day, four years ago, I was just waking up in my parents' house, a priest of Jesus Christ. Uh, a surreal feeling and unsure of where, that I was even going to be here in Antrim or where I was going to be. But the overwhelming sense of the goodness of God and the peace and the reality of following the plan that God had for me. And so four years later, I still give thanks for that, and I give thanks today for the gift of the priesthood. We get to pray especially for more priests, more men after the heart of the Father. And so we turn to the Lord and we ask him for those prayers, for those intentions, that he would stir up missionary zeal, especially in and around our diocese, of men willing to serve the local church as his priest. St. Anthony of Padua, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Anthony of Padua, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you, holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Noel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles St. Anthony of Padua and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever.
The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. <coughs> Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the word, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the word, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world, free me by this your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ can be seen. Blessed is the servant whom the Lord finds wanting when he comes. Amen, I say to you, he will put that servant in charge of all his property. Let us pray. May partaking of the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of St. Anthony of Padua, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in the hour of battle. Be thou our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray, and be thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan, and with him all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
We are mighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks.